Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Crystal Sky. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time that we upload a free flowing, beautiful video on this channel. We are creating a Mustang community of free, beautiful spirits. I would love for you to come on this sacred journey with me and grow our YouTube channel and really experience a family and a community here on this space. I'm ever so grateful for all of the people that have already subscribed and become a part of this journey with me and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you through the positive comments down below. I want to go ahead and jump onto this video and give you an energy update, a December energy update, and a full moon energy update. Full moon is December 7th, which is just around the corner. It's only a couple days away. So you guys, let's talk a little bit about the December energy update. December is a really great, beautiful month, but it can also be a little bit overwhelming, um, a little bit frustrating uh, energy out there. Um, but it is a time of year where it is really important to fill our cups. Uh, it's really important to have self-care. I know I say that almost every single time, but that's a true story. Um, but also, uh, December's energy can also be very good in the fact of uh, preparation for the new year. So I know that sometimes many people do different celebrations throughout December, uh, but it's a really good time of year for us to kind of sit down and have a little bit of reflection. Have a little bit of reflection about what has been working and what hasn't been working. And then we need to be able to 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 stay in a great grounded position to say, you know what, I've looked at everything that has been working for me and I'm ever so grateful. And then the stuff that hasn't been working, I'm okay with letting it go. Letting go of whatever does not serve you anymore. Um, so that is the, the December energy update, is letting go of things that are not serving you anymore to make space for the things that are serving you. I have a, you know, I have a, a, this thing that sometimes we become a little bit too attached to things, right? But sometimes those attachments block us from things that are supposed to be better and greater for us. So I think December is a great time of year to, to, to take a few moments during the hustle and bustle and the grind and to really sit back and figure out what is working and what is not working for us. Um, and in that reflection, we're able to let go of what no longer serves us to be able to welcome the brand new year, which is just right around the corner, you guys. So preparing for the brand new year, allowing us to be our greatest selves, allowing for financial freedom, allowing for our greatest amount of success, happiness, joy, and, and really shedding some of the things that are not serving us anymore. Even if it's something small, you guys, even if it's something small, because it is the practice and the discipline of knowing and understanding what is good for us and what is not good for us. Um, and, and setting boundaries, setting boundaries with people and things and really honing in into being grounded with the person that we are and just saying, look guys, here I am, this is me. And if you love me, awesome. And if you don't like me, I don't need you in my life. You can go and serve someone else and I'll look for somebody else that serves me. So it's definitely a beautiful dedication month to learning so much about what is working for us and what is not working for us. And that includes business and finances. If there's something in your business that's not working for you, ditch it, ditch it. Find something else that does. And by being able to let go of some things that are not serving us anymore or blocking our energy allows us to make way for something that is going to serve us. Um, I think that, you know, December is a great month of success and love and the brand new year is going to bring us even more success and love, but we have to be able to welcome, welcome ourselves with love and compassion and being able to say no being able to say the word no in December. No to something that's not serving you anymore. If it's a job that you feel like is not adequate for you, it's okay to say no. And by being able to free yourself and have liberation with the word no, it's going to open up opportunities and flow of energy of yeses, of yes, this, this job feels right, yes, this relationship feels right. And so when we open up ourselves and we liberate ourselves to be able to break the bondage and the chains of being able to say no, 
allows us to make way for yeses. And those yeses are going to be the ones that are going to guide us into the path of the greatest success we've ever known. And it's going to continue us. It's going to be continuous growth for all eternity just by being able to stand ground and say no and open up our hearts and our souls to say yes. So December is a great month for us to reflect on those no's, for us to reflect on what's working and not working. It's also a great month to understand that we might be feeling overwhelmed, right? Celebrations coming, family, different things, and we might be able, we might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. But in those moments of being overwhelmed is beautiful, beautiful opportunities of practice, of being able to say, I'm going to stay grounded, I'm going to stay collected. And uh, there's been a few videos about silence lately, you guys. I've pulled a card yesterday on silence. Um, and it's a very powerful thing. I've talked about how silence is powerful. December can be a really great practice for each and every one of us to practice peace and sanctuary of being able to stand ground and not really say much, but really just keeping a silence to us. That doesn't mean that you stop talking to your friends and family and stop talking to your coworkers and, you know, just stay in the house and become mute. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is there's times where we just need to be silent. It might be 10 minutes in the morning, just stay silent in meditation. It might be in your bath. It might be on a walk. It might be on a drive. Whatever it is, take those moments of silence because they're actually a gift they're actually a gift of things that we can listen to and they have messages. Silence has a message for us, you guys. Are we willing to listen to the silence and listen to what's being what's being um, communicated to us? It's important. So December is a great month to do that with. And then the full moon in Gemini. I'm a Gemini, so it's going to be exciting. <laughs> um, full moon in Gemini is going to be a great time for us to remain silent and start writing down what needs to be communicated. Geminis are very, very, uh, you know, open to communication. We talk a whole bunch. If you haven't noticed on my channel, I go off on rants. That's probably because I'm a Gemini. Um, but this full moon is going to be a great moon to let go of all that no longer serves us uh, because full moons are very healing. Allow this full moon of December um, to really be transformational for you in the best ways possible of good health, wealth, well-being, prosperity, abundance, and positivity, you guys. So let this full moon be a reflection, again, kind of interweaving the December energy um, and harnessing the ability to stay silent. Maybe making a list, maybe journal, maybe just meditating and figuring out truly in the silence what needs to be said next. In your silence, you will know the words and you will know the things that you will have to speak truth of. Um, you know, in, in, in basically, you know, not letting people, uh, you know, bend your boundaries or um, whatever it might be to you. It's going to be a, a sort of a month of triggers. The full moon might bring some triggers to you. And this is a great time of practice to say, you know what, these are triggers. And now, because I'm evolving into a better, stronger person, I know how to treat those triggers and I know how to release them and never let them touch me again. People that have been abused, um, I think this is going to be a, a wonderful time for you because the abuse that you went through is uh, never unnoticed. And, um, and I commend you for being the strong person that you are. An abused person is words that you can never even imagine saying because of how bad a person can feel when they're abused um, energetically. And I'll talk a little bit about energetic abuse a little bit later on in another video. But if you guys have been abused in any way, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, even energetically, this is a great time to shed the shit. Shed the freaking shit. And you, ra you, you rise to your power. You rise to your power and you become the most successful, badass person that there ever is. And you continuously badass forever and ever and ever and ever. So if you've been abused, this full moon is for you. This full moon is for you to take charge and you rise in your power and you continuously rise for all eternity. This is going to be the beginning of your rise for all eternity. So... If any of you guys have been through a very difficult time in your life or you've been abused by someone or something, know that this is your time to shine 
and continuously shine forever and infinity. This is your beginning of standing in your brightest light for all eternity, you guys, forever and ever and ever. So I'm so proud of each of my Mustangs who might be going through something because guess what? This full moon, this December, you're going to be completely healed. And when 2023 hits, you will be in complete full remission of recovery. So I hope this video serves you well. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending all my love. Celebrate all your wins and victories, no matter how small or big they might be. We love you on this channel, you guys. It's getting a little darker. <laughs> um, but I wanted to come out here in the great outdoors and do a, a, a video. And um, even if you can't see me, hopefully you can at least listen to my words. I love you. Thank you for everything. Thing and mwah, namaste.